There are several opinions about Sigma I NFJ. They view Sigma I NFJs as peculiar, narcissistic, and extraordinarily powerful. But Sigma I NFJ don't give a damn. Everything that people say and think is irrelevant. A Sigma I NFJ doesn't give a damn about what other people think of them for the following eight reasons. Eight, they are authentic. Nobody is able to alter it. These people are not bound by the expectations or conventions of society. Rather, they carve out their own route, led with unwavering determination by an inner compass that guides them towards their actual selves. It's a conscious decision to value authenticity over conformity rather than disobedience for the sake of disobedience. The path of the Sigma INFJ is one of self-acceptance and self-discovery, where the harmony of their own beliefs triumphs over the cacophony of outside voices. Sigma INFJs value quality above number and tend to build a small network of friends. The opinions of people outside of this close-knit group are not very influential since they value the genuineness and depth of relationships more than the flimsy acceptance of the general public. They don't ignore criticism. Instead, they use their self-awareness to sort it and take the important lessons out of the noise. Their mentality is based on independence. Without the burden of expectations weighing them down, Sigma INFJ find comfort in following their passions, much like lone travelers in the wide world of existence. Their independence allows them to travel the path of self-discovery without becoming bogged down in the views of others. It is a bridge, not a wall, that connects them to their purpose and ideals. Seven, they think they were never meant to win over anyone. With a strong foundation in self-awareness, Sigma INFJs approach life knowing that their role is not to shape themselves into acceptable forms for other people. Rather, they are unaffected by the urge to live up to social norms and stand strong in the genuineness of who they are. It is forbidden for the Sigma INFJ to modify who they are in order to appease others. They see themselves as creators of their own existence, building a special framework that is consistent with their beliefs and ideals. The criticisms from other sources resound nowhere in this haven that you have created for yourself. According to Sigma INFJ, one's authenticity shouldn't be sacrificed in order to please the world's shifting viewpoints. While chameleons adjust to fit in with their environment, Sigma INFJs show their true colors without wavering in the face of social norms. A breeze of conformity just ruffles their feathers. It does not alter the path they have set for themselves. Their conviction that their essence is impervious to popular vote protects them from the difficulties of trying to win over a world that is inherently conflicting and different. Sigma INFJs keep a strong sense of self because they understand that sincerity is the cornerstone of any meaningful relationship. The deep, meaningful ties people form with others who recognize and welcome their actual nature make the chase of approval irrelevant. 6. They work better on their own. Effectiveness is the lifeblood of the Sigma INFJ, and isolation is the cocoon in which distractions fade and concentration sharpens. They work like well-oiled machinery, maneuvering with a precision that only isolation can provide amid life's difficulties. The symphony of their ideas and thoughts drowns out the clamor of outside opinions, which reduces to a distant murmur. When a Sigma INFJ works autonomously, their inventive gears might run more smoothly. Their isolated workstation turns into a blank canvas where their imagination can run wild without being constrained by outside expectations. They don't completely reject teamwork, rather, they recognize the value of taking on single projects in order to reach their greatest potential. The Sigma INFJ's penchant for efficiency isn't a result of a contempt for others, rather, it comes from a profound sense of rhythm. They build a wall of concentration that protects them from the shifting views of others, thereby becoming the architects of their own production. They replenish, ponder, and replenish their energy reserves while they are alone themselves. 5. No one has the same level of self-investment as they do. With a magnetic force, the level of self-investment drives Sigma INFJ forward. They focus their resources on developing themselves, learning about themselves, and pursuing the interests that make them unique. Their concentration is fixed firmly on their goals, making outside opinions a mere shadow in the brilliant light of their own limelight. Even though there is a plethora of demands and opinions in the world, Sigma INFJs stay rooted in the knowledge that no outsider can compare to the depth of their engagement in themselves. They are freed from the constraints of social approval by this recognition, giving them the confidence and self-determination to choose their own path. 
In Social Dynamics, Sigma INFJs take on the role as Destiny's choreographers. They know that in life's great theater, the audience's cheers or jeers are not as important as the deep resonance of their own investment. Their perseverance, honesty, and unwavering sense that they are the ultimate protagonists of their own tale in the broader scheme of existence are all shaped by their self-directed investment. 4. Knowledge is all that matters to people. Sigma INFJ is aware of the limitations in other people's expertise. Passing glances and talks are insufficient to fully comprehend the complexities of their thoughts, emotions, and dreams. Their perseverance is based on this awareness, which gives them the peace of mind to move through life knowing that opinions are, at most, partial stories. People's perceptions are filtered through a sieve of their own experiences, biases, and incomplete facts, as Sigma INFJ recognizes. Because of this, people's opinions are frequently just projections of their own understanding shaped by the bits and pieces of knowledge they have acquired. This knowledge serves as a barrier, preventing Sigma INFJ from being too influenced by outside viewpoints that are too superficial to fully capture. Although classifications and judgments are highly valued in society, Sigma INFJ resist being reduced to such terms. Their intricacy resists simple categorization, and they endure in the face of insufficient understanding. Instead of looking for validation, they take comfort in the unknown depths of their own complexity, where the echo of other people's views is just the surface of a deep, invisible sea. 3. Their guiding ideas are dissimilar. Sigma INFJs with distinct codes may show up as anomalies. They leave their own ideals footsteps on the route, so they are not drawn to the well-traveled paths of conformity. Their steadfast beliefs cause the opinions of others to fade into the background, unable to compete with their resonance. The ideals of the Sigma INFJ serve as a barrier, keeping them safe from the pressure to live up to social norms. Their ideals hold firm like sturdy trees, unwavering in the face of passing judgments, even when society conventions may waver like grass in the breeze. This tenacity is not the result of being obstinate, rather, it is evidence of the power that comes from living in accordance with strongly held beliefs. Additionally, Sigma INFJs spin a story influenced by their values. It's a conscious decision to give priority to a set of values that go beyond the nature of conventional expectations rather than a rejection of the judgments of the outside world. What other ways do your values as a Sigma INFJ set you apart from others? Two, they think that viewpoints are transient as well as needless. The Sigma INFJ views the temporal nature of thoughts as a defense against conformity pressure. They realize that public opinions are ephemeral and flexible, like waves on the surface of a huge ocean. They experience emancipation from this insight because they realize how little opinions matter in the larger scheme of things. The world may be full of voices, but Sigma INFJ sees these viewpoints as fleeting clouds that briefly shade their uniqueness without being able to completely block it out. They are able to dance to the beat of their authenticity since they are no longer bound by the need for acceptance. Understanding that today's judgments might not apply tomorrow, Sigma INFJs retain a composed resilience in their relationships and social interactions. Their principles are more important to them than the fleeting praise or condemnation they receive from others. It's not a rejection of criticism, but rather a perceptive realization that views are merely whirlwinds in the always shifting winds of social conventions. 1. They are the most self-aware people there is. Being self-aware serves as a solid anchor that keeps Sigma INFJ rooted in their true selves. They are both artists and muse in the vast tapestry of their lives, crafting their own story with a level of knowledge that may never be fully understood by others. The views of the outside world are reduced to paintbrush strokes in their masterwork of self-awareness. Sigma INFJ is steadfast in the awareness that they are the guardians of their own truths, despite the opinions and expectations of society ebbing and flowing like tall grass in the wind. They have traveled intimately through areas that go beyond the purview of the outside world, including the facets of their dreams, the outlines of their personalities, and the subtleties of their emotions. Sigma INFJ interacts with people as partners in the enormous mural of life rather than as blank canvases to be painted over by outside viewpoints. Being self-aware helps them connect with people more truly, untainted by the superficial opinions that frequently accompanies social interactions. This profound self-awareness promotes humility rather than conceit. 
How do you, as a Sigma INFJ, react to the remarks made about you by your acquaintances? Sigma INFJs don't usually become entangled in other people's turmoil. They become triggered whenever someone tries to become involved in their business because of this. How do you react to these folks as a Sigma INFJ when you don't know anything at all? Would you like to defend yourself again? 